The Triton Coaches Show on KRFO Radio, brought to you by Hy-Vee and Claremont Service Center. Bring in Don Henderson. A, a dominating win at Winona Cotter on Thursday night. Cotter has uh, some numbers issues and some injury issues. The final score was 64-6. to uh, Don had the, the chance to call the game, and as things moved on, I know it's about the juniors and seniors at the high school football level, but I was just amazed and impressed with the way the sophomores play on your club. Yeah, we've got a good crew of sophomores helping us out uh, this year, and, uh, you know, we absolutely need them. We only have a total of 13 juniors and seniors, so, uh, you know, if you're going to have any kind of depth and uh, put a good team together, uh, we're, and we're very fortunate to have a very strong sophomore class. Do the juniors and seniors do a good job of kind of welcoming them in and, and you know, the cohesion of a unit like that? Oh, absolutely. You know, the kids are all real good friends, and they hang out together and stuff. And, you know, like yesterday morning, did a pancake breakfast uh, hmm. all together and that kind of thing, you know. And uh, it, it's just, it's always been that way here at Triton. You know, it doesn't matter who you are. If you're a part of it, you're a part of it. And, uh, you know, they, they try to make it something special. The game couldn't have started off any better from the kickoff return to the first possession for Cotter ending in an interception by you guys, uh, so it was a, a fabulous start in a big first quarter. Yeah, it was. We, we jumped out pretty quick. Leif Bungham ran the opening kickoff back 82 yards for a touchdown, and uh, you know that got us going, and uh, then we had a pick six um, on Cotter's first possession uh, that got called back, but um, I believe we scored in one play there. And, uh, you know, things just kind of steamrolled. Uh, we put up 29 in the first quarter and uh, 48 at halftime. But, uh, you know, it's kind of interesting. We only ran 16 offensive plays the first half to come up with those 48 points. So I guess we were fairly efficient. And, and I'm sure everyone was expecting, you know, just rush, 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 which is what you did overall in the game. But that first play from scrimmage was a, a touchdown pass. So uh, making teams respect that right out of the gate. Yeah, you know, that's uh, that's something we do need to work on. But, uh, you know, I guess uh, maybe I'm a little old school. But when we're in a tight game, I, I trust what we do well, which is running the ball, you know, to eat the mm-hmm. clock and... Mm-hmm try and finish a game off and then of course you know when you get a game like this where you get up quick and you're way up then it uh, just doesn't seem right to be throwing the ball you know all over the place or anything you know you kind of run the ball to keep the clock running and get the game over with uh, you know and hopefully not try and embarrass somebody too much. Um, the you, you did use a number of different formations. You, you've obviously got your base formations. How do you feel about the versatility when you look at a, a you know a team like Caledonia coming up on your schedule next week? Uh, the the offensive looks that you show. Well, you know we've we've got some things that are kind of our nut that we uh, you know that's kind of our go to, and you know we're we're going to try and uh, add in some extra things and. Uh, show some different looks against them. We've been pretty vanilla so far this year, and uh, I guess uh, this would be the week uh, to change that up a little bit, maybe, with the number one ranked team in the state coming to our place uh, next Friday night. What is it that Caledonia does well? Everything. They're uh, they're just very solid. They're, uh, you know, they've got a great great tradition and they use that to their advantage uh, they, they play a lot of games where the game is won before they even step on the field and uh you know they're they're very fast very aggressive and uh you know they don't make mistakes they don't beat themselves if, if you're going to beat them you're going to have to beat them you not they're not going to beat themselves so uh you know it'll be a great challenge for us but you know what we're looking forward to it. we don't think we're too darn bad but mm. i guess we get to find out here uh, what did you like about your defense against Winona Cotter? Uh, they tried to throw the ball a bit early and then uh, focused on the ground game a little more. Yeah, we we just uh, we need to get stronger technically, you know, in our in our um, coverage and and in our tackling. I, I just really feel our tackling has been pretty poor uh, recently. Or we're playing with too high a pad level, and uh, you know we've talked to the kids and we're going to work on that really hard this week. But you know, with the limited contact, you have to watch how you. Uh, how you approach these things uh but you know we're gonna have to do a much better job of that on defense um if uh we're gonna hang with caledonia 
All right, well, 3-0 and start on the season for the Cobras. It was 64-6 to at Winona Cotter on Thursday night. Next week, Caledonia in at the Snake Pit and Dodge Center. Don, good luck with the big one coming up. Thanks, Roy. All right, Don Henderson, Triton Football on KRFO.